I used to be anxiously attached, which is like a whole different person from who I am now. That's actually how I got into this work of attachment, as many anxious types do, taking on the burden of responsibility to make the relationship run. And the avoidant type will absolutely let you, and they still will sabotage it. So it's all for basically nothing. Um, but I, I really understand the anxious plights. And as I was going through the process, as many people do, I became more avoidant, which is super normal because you realize all of the mess that being anxious gets you into. And so you're like, well, I'll just do a lot less. And and then you kind of come to a place where you're like, that doesn't really feel natural. And I think that I want relationship. And so maybe I'll try. But at the same time, I'm not really confident in myself in trying because the last time that I did or the times that I did before, things went poorly. But at the same time, I don't want to back too far off because then I'm never, get, I'm never going to get what it is that I want. And so you end up in a fearful avoidance space. I both want the connection, but the connection is scary. I'm uncertain of myself, how to go about this this. I'm afraid of doing something wrong. I'm afraid of asking for too much. I'm afraid of not asking for enough. The old me would be my client. So when you hear me talking about these things, I truly say it with no judgment. Um, I know the plight 